So this video is for people who love G-Shocks, who want to have like who want to own like a smartwatch, but you don't necessarily love rocking, you know, the Apple Watch look, or for example, the Android smartwatches or Garmin or Sunto. You just love G-Shocks. Now the good news is there is a G-Shock that's also a smartwatch, making it like one of the toughest, most durable, most kick-ass looking smartwatches you can get today. Now, I am a beginner at this, so I literally just found out about this watch a few days ago. <laughs> so anyway, this is going to be our unboxing of the G-Shock GBD H1000, one of the toughest, most durable, most kick-ass smartwatches that you can get today. If you're a G-Shock fan, you love smart technology, this is the one for you. Keep on watching. Let's go. Quick wristwatch check of the day. Since we are doing a G-Shock review, I am wearing my G-Shock Mudmaster. I did a review of this. I will link it down below just in case you guys are interested in seeing it. So here you have it, guys. This is the G-Shock GBD H1000 in black and neon orange. Now, while it is a smartwatch, as you guys can see, you have that digital display. You have the heart rate sensor here at the back. This is still a G-Shock through and through. And one of those things that makes this a G-Shock is apart from the overall look and structure is that this is still tough AF. So it is one of the toughest smartwatches that you can buy today. So you still have the resin material material with that stainless steel case back this is shock resistant because the structure protects the internal module while the complex rugged shape protects the glass as well as the buttons by the way this is mineral crystal and you do have what 200 meter water resistance for this watch now apart from being extremely durable and tough they also showed fantastic user design for this particular piece you have resin over the metal bezel to make the buttons easier to push which you can also see with the design of the buttons over here you have this urethane band here these two clips which secure the watch to your wrist so that this protruding heart rate sensor can accurately and always measure your heart rate if you choose to have the heart rate sensor always on you have this soft urethane band over here which has enough ventilation to keep that breathing space for your wrist and you do have MIP LCD memory and pixel which shows very high contrast for easy viewing in fact one of the best things about this watch is that it is extremely legible and you do have high brightness LED which you can use over here to light it up in dark situations and lastly it does have solar charging so you do have two ways to charge it you have this USB charging port here at the back but you also can just charge it with sunlight and that for me is a fantastic way to beat other smartwatches because you don't have to keep charging it every day or every other day it just works if it's just the everyday function of watch that you're after the step tracker uh, all the different watch functionalities you don't actually need to charge this with usb you can just turn off the heart rate sensor always on and just turn it on every time you are doing a workout and you should be fine now how is this a smartwatch well there are five sensors five friggin sensors you have the optical heart rate monitor over here at the back you have an accelerometer which measures body movement step count as well as distance traveled you have a magnetic sensor which allows for you to use the compass you have a pressure sensor 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 for you to detect the altitude and you have a thermo sensor for you to get barometric bar barometric pressure and temperature man uh, all the all the terms are already starting to to go over my head it also has gps via glonass as well as michibiki satellite which allows to show the display of route automatic time adjustment wherever you are in the world now it wouldn't be a smartwatch if it didn't have notifications so it does have that from your messages to the alerts that you get on your phone all you have to do is to pair it via bluetooth and then you can even use the g-shock move app which we will talk about in a bit you can also set vibration notification depending on time elapsed during training to monitor your heart rate or again if you want to get alerted when you have smartphone notification now before we even get to the app we have to talk about the different functionalities that you can find on the watch itself now over here on the top left button is the display button and by tapping it you can quickly change to the different display modes of the watch so this one shows the time the date as well as your heart rate 
This one shows over here a different time zone, two different time zones. I set, well, for some reason, I have it both set to Manila, which is weird. Uh, for this one, you can see just the time as well as the seconds and the date and the battery life. If you go over here, you can take a look at your step counter throughout the week together with the time and the date. So if you are measuring your steps more than anything, this can be really helpful. This one over here is the VO2 Max, I think, which is for cycling. To be honest, I have no idea how that works, so <laughs> let's skip that. But yeah, pretty much all the different types of metrics that can be displayed by the five sensors, you can manipulate via the display uh, button over here. Uh, by tapping the run button, you can activate the GPS so you can connect to the satellite so it can track your movement and your distance. And if you click over here, this one is the mode button. So it shows you the different modes from workouts uh, to stopwatch to timer and to even all the compass, training status, notifications, settings, all of the different modes that you can use with this watch. You can just scroll through quickly and easily with the tap of a button over here. The upper right button, of course, turns on the light and the lower right button is for laps. Now, this obviously isn't a full review. Uh, I will do one in the next few days, but I do want to link to a review of another YouTuber, G-Shock High Fashion, I think, who did an exceptional video on this piece as well as the video made by the Time Teller. Of course, another one of my favorite watch YouTubers who did a review on this particular watch. Now, this watch sells for a little over 20,000 pesos here in the Philippines. I got this from one of my favorite shops here in the Philippines, multi-brand watch shops at Tokyo over at the podium, second floor. It comes in different colors. And again, it is one of the toughest smartwatches that you can get today and if you are a fan or if you want a smartwatch but you don't necessarily want it to look like a general smartwatch uh, and you love G-Shocks then I think this is a great option in short you're a G-Shock fan but you want to have smartwatch functionalities but you don't want to wear an Apple Watch or you don't want to wear like a Garmin or any of the Android smartwatches you now have a legit strong G-Shock option by the way let me just take this quick opportunity to shout out again to darwin to daisy to ricky to yvette all the awesome people over at uh, at tokyo over at the podium what do you guys think of the watch let me know in the comment section down below again this isn't like a full review it's just me unboxing it and going over the different features uh quick Think of it as a quick overview, and we will be doing a more comprehensive take on this in the next few weeks. So with that said, uh, this is Carlos signing out. Guys, don't forget to comment. Don't forget to, give, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It really helps out a lot. And with that said, peace, God bless, what's up?